I'm Leo from Makeshift, currently working on the development strategy for the organization. Um, at Makeshift, we're really interested in the way that public space has a role to play in the ongoing development of our cities. Um, with the sharing economy, giving people access to privately owned uh, assets on a rental basis, we're looking to ask bigger questions about what happens when communities come together um, and feel a sense of ownership over those assets themselves. Um, generally, that's because public space, or community space rather, is one of the first things to be neglected um, when urban regeneration, wholesale urban regeneration goes wrong. Um, although property developers often uh, make nods towards community space in inverted commas, it's often a kind of token proposition nowadays that struggles to serve local people in a really meaningful way. Um, and as a result, new spaces often feel exclusive rather than inclusive. The term community space is now a kind of catch-all title to describe all sorts of things and has somewhat lost a lot of its meaning. Um, so we at Makeshift, we, we think uh, kind of sharing economy centers around um, creating space to facilitate human interaction as much as possible. So we run, de deliver and run projects, currently two, and we've got another one in development, um, that ultimately give local enterprise space to thrive. Simple as that. So we build spaces and offer them purely to local enterprises. And we find that by bringing local entrepreneurs together, particularly solo entrepreneurs who often lack the capital to be able to set up their own, into their own commercial space, some really exciting things happen. Um, so at Pop Brixton, so at Pop Brixton, for example, uh, one of our kind of first two projects are interesting examples about interesting examples of what happens when shared, when space is shared by a variety of local businesses, specifically, um, rather than being redeveloped in a kind of wholesale manner. So, for example, at Pop Brixton, our first site. Um, could have easily become a Tesco's. It would have been home to one corporate business that takes money, sucks money from the local and puts it into the big global pot. Um, instead, Port Brixton is now home to 55 independent local traders, local businesses, um, and the reason we find it really exciting is that local traders, local businesses are generally always going to be, or generally going to be, a lot more inclined to hire locally, to pay fairly, to give back to their local communities in ways that we wouldn't necessarily anticipate. Um, and Peckham Levels is our second project, another example. It's housed in a former car park, multi-story car park in Peckham. Um, it was uh, very much a hotbed for antisocial behavior for over 25 years, and it went through a process of being slated for um, a, big re a big kind of development project that was to bring 55 luxury flats to Peckham which was going to be, of course, well, of course, was going to be pretty much inaccessible to everyone locally, particularly down to its price point. Instead, now Peckham Levels, the project that we launched, is home to 100 creators of an in and independent business businesses that work together, collaborate, share experiences, and give back to the community in a meaningful way. Um, and so broadly, our, our vision and what we're working towards is really to create this kind of new model for inclusive regeneration by focusing on bringing local businesses together, providing them the space they need to, to set up those businesses, providing them networks and connections to be able to collaborate and learn off each other through business services or opportunity, other different types of opportunities, and eventually potentially looking to provide them with access to some sorts of investment. Um, so working, we're basically working at the interface between urban regeneration and social entrepreneurship. And that's makeshift. Thanks.